back on Sold Out Sports Talk on AFR Talk. Roman Gabriel the third, your host. And, of course, you can catch us 8 Eastern, 7 Central time, every Saturday night right here on AFR.net streaming. Or you can go to AFR.net, check one of our 200-plus stations out there that cover this program. Also, our podcast all the time at Sold Out Sports Talk on the archive on AFR.net. Also, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you can connect in with us at the free AFR Talk app. And, of course, you can hear around the clock on American Family Radio. I'm really fired up about my guests coming in because, as you know, I love football, but football is over. We got a, we got five months to go. We got baseball starting. We got the Masters this weekend, but we also have NASCAR in full swing. And uh, I've got a really cool guy. I tell you what, I've really enjoyed getting to know more about him. Blake Cook, of course, from the number 41 Ford Mustang, Rick Ware Racing, and uh, he's in his second full year on the Nationwide Series. And if you haven't heard the news and you're not a sports fan, uh, he came to a heavy light here in the last few weeks regarding uh, his sponsor, RiseUpAndRegister.com. Um, he's very passionate about getting young people out to vote, and their goal is to get a million new voters uh, this coming year as we look forward to an election year. Uh, but more importantly, uh, he had a sponsor, and ESPN out there uh, turned down his sponsorship opportunity for the Daytona race. Uh, basically, it was just getting people out to vote. They felt like that there was a, a religious or political overtone. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that, but more about this man's love for God and his love for what he's doing. Blake Cook is our guest. Blake, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on your show. Hey, I'm fired up to have you. I'll tell you what, more, the more I take a look at what you're doing out there, uh, I've got a young man who's my son-in-law who's a professional surfer. You guys are very similar in your love for the Lord and uh uh, and I, I will say this, Blake, you're a sharp-looking guy. Of course, young people, you know, I don't I don't foresee why Rise Up and Register uh, basically picked you because uh, you're a perfect <laughs> guy to get out that vote for young people. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, man, and, and it was a, you know, it's a great campaign. Our, our goal and our mission was to get one million new people to get registered for this coming election, and we thought that was a very uh, achievable goal, and, um, you know, it's been an interesting year. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes the Bible says in Romans eight twenty eight, and you know it like I do, all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And this sounds like something that's in talking to your manager. Um, yes, the negative was is that you weren't able to get your sponsor on ESPN in a very important race, but it sounds like you're getting a lot of support and a lot of attention drawn to what you want people to make attention about, which is your Christian faith and rise up and, and vote in your NASCAR a nationwide career yeah absolutely i mean i am uh i know it's very important for everybody to get out and get registered and get vote but my true passion my true desire is to let everybody know how important it is to put god first in their lives you know you know the important thing to me in this whole situation is that you know obviously as a young driver uh so much more is expected of you and of young athletes today with the 24-hour news cycle, Facebook, social networking. It's almost like everything that's said, you have to watch what comes out of your mouth. And I was just at a high school tech uh, symposium for parents and kids about the importance of using social networking responsibly. And um, you're certainly seeing uh, in your situation uh, with what happened with ESPN how fast the news can get out, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It was just, um, it was incredible. You know, I was on, um, when I was on Fox and Friends, I, I turned my phone back on like five minutes later and had, you know, 1,500 new Twitter followers and uh, over hundreds of messages. And it was just crazy how fast that uh, things get out these days. And, and uh, the support that I've had has just been, you know, so positive and I'm so appreciative of that. And, um, you know, like you said, God has a purpose and a plan for everything. And, and what we may think looks bad at the at the current time, the current situation, you know, he's in control and, it, and it's, you know, he's going to do what he wants to do to bring glory to his name. Now tell me who your current sponsors on the car are right now. You've got four or five I saw on your website. Yeah, I mean, well, the primary sponsor was RiseUpAndRegister.com, and that was, you know, the campaign to for voters registration, which you've obviously heard is, is uh is not my current primary sponsor anymore as of right now uh, moving forward. But I am continuing continuing to endorse that initiative, and and uh, they will have a presence on my race car all year long. And 
Um, it's just not going to be the primary as of right now. But um, I believe in uh, the motive and the mission, and, and I'll do everything I can to support them. And uh, when I went on uh, on Fox and Friends, you know, I made that, that statement of I stood up for my faith, and I wasn't going to deny my faith no matter what, even if it was to, to please anybody to get a commercial air to please a particular sponsor. So I love the fact I was able to get that point across, and I think uh, you know, I've had a great response from that, and hopefully gave people the the courage to stand up for their faith in any situation in their lives, whether it's at work. You know, if you're wanting a promotion and you feel like you have to, you can't stand up for your Christian testimony because of a promotion, you know, I think standing up for Christ is more important. And God will lead the way from there. But my other sponsors are, uh, you know, Point.com. It's a, a free mobile app. And uh, Lily Trucking is a big part of our program. And I have some personal endorsements with Spy, Energy Citizen, Salt Life. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who have been supporting me over the years. We're talking to Blake Cook, nationwide racer. That's right, uh, number 41 in his second year on the nationwide tour. Uh, and, of course, you can look forward to Texas Motor Speedway for uh, this weekend's action on Saturday. Uh, you can find it, I believe it's on ESPN, Texas Speedway, O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. And before I get off that subject to ESPN, for people that didn't hear, and I want to make sure our audience, who is a faith-based audience and a family-based audience, knows this. Uh, Jeff, do me a favor. Cue up um, the Rise Up and register ad for us. When, let me know when you got that up. And, are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Over half of all race fans didn't bother to vote in the last election. I know. I was one of them. It's time for all of us, the entire NASCAR nation, to rise up and make our voices heard this election. Blake, your dad's your manager, and when he got yeah. the call from ESPN about turning down the ad, well, uh, when I saw you on Fox and Friends, obviously I think a lot of people were surprised because I thought you know, I needed to go back and hear it myself. I saw the Fox and Friends piece that you did first, and I said, well, this ought to be interesting. So I went and listened, and then I listened again, and I thought, man, there's just, there's just not a whole lot there. The, I, think the, I think the thing that, that was a little unfair, a lot unfair, is that I don't think being in the media like you are, I am, a lot of professional athletes, former professional athletes that, that are up there in the media eye, that are covered by the news, that are on, you know, ESPN is the worldwide leader in sports. They're, all, they're also the major carrier with Fox of NASCAR and the Nationwide Series, along with a lot of other, you know, related programs that are on their 24-hour cycle on radio, television, ESPN, the magazine, and others. Uh, and I thought... I don't think I've ever heard of a situation where they have where they've done something like this and went on someone's personal website to make a statement about their policy professionally. Yeah, it was um, it was shocking. I can tell, I, I'll, I'll tell you that it was shocking when I was in Daytona and I heard the voicemail. Um, I kind of didn't know what to do at first and just just uh, went with the flow for the next couple of weeks, you know, until we got. I got the call from Fox to go on there and, and talk about the situation. Blake Cook, our guest, Nationwide Series, number 41. Now, I'm, now I, this is to me is the most amazing part of your story. You didn't start racing four wheels until you were 22 years old and out of college? Yeah, I was, um, I was about 20 years old the first time I got in a race car. And uh, I was still in college and, and I uh, just did it as a hobby at first and had a blast. And, um, I started winning a couple of races, and, and you know how that is. Any athlete knows when, when you get a little piece of a feeling of success in your sport and your hobby, you're wanting a ticket to the next level, you know. And um, and that's what I did. You know, I had uh, a lot of family support from my, my stepdad, my mom, my dad. Um, everybody was willing to, you know, put their best efforts into making my my newfound dream come true to be a professional NASCAR driver. And, and um, obviously it's in God's will of what he wants to happen. And, and it happened, man. It's just really cool. And it's crazy to look back and see how much has happened in a few short years. It's just my second full time in the NASCAR nationwide series is just that alone. Is unbelievable. Okay. Now you're not without, you know, a lot of people are going, well, how in the world is the guy jump in a car and start racing competitively against people that started racing when they were about five and six years old, some of these guys. 
but you were a very accomplished motocross rider, which in, in itself is a challenging sport. So how did those two things work for you in terms of the transition, and, and what was maybe the negative of coming over from motocross? Yeah, I would say, um, I mean, racing is racing. You know what I mean? To be a, a successful racer, you have to get the mental side, and, and you have to know to know the racing ethics. You know, the, you have to gain your fellow competitors' respect. I mean, that's huge. You have to you have to want it. You have to have the heart, the desire, the passion, the determination. All those things I've, I've developed, and you know, since I was nine years old when I started racing dirt bikes, just you know, working out every day when I was 12 years old doing push-ups and sit-ups before I go to bed. My mom would make me do that and just, um, you know, make sure you eat healthy and just put 110% of your efforts into your sport. And that's how you become successful. So I was able to take that kind of stuff over to stock cars with me, you know, uh, racing smart, um, earning the respect as quick as you can with the, with the veterans on the track. Um, just, you know, in, in Stock cars is kind of hard to practice. You know, you don't really get too much practice, but you can watch videos. You can get mentally prepared. You can, you know, there, you have to think outside the box to make yourself better from everybody else. The things that kind of hurt me, I would say, is in motocross, like, you don't want to follow somebody. Like, if they're taking, you know, the the high line, you know, you take the low line of motocross. Well, in cars, and you get to the, the drafting tracks, it's like, at first, I always wanted to duck out too quick, you know what I mean? And I'd get shuffled back 10 spots. I'd always want to, like, make the moves too quick because I was always taught never follow, never follow, never follow. And in a car race, if you want to follow all the way till you get to their bumper and then duck out and make the pass. So that was pretty difficult for me to get a handle on and to learn. And, and also, when I first started racing cars, I think I was a little over-aggressive. You know, I used my bumper a little too much. And you start racing the same guys every week, and they put the bumper right back to you. And it's pretty expensive to fix your car when that happens. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Blake, Blake Cook is our man right here. Nationwide race number 41. You can catch him Saturday. O'Reilly Auto Parts 300 in the Texas Motor Speedway. Now, he's on the social networking thing, so I'm sure he want to talk to you, answer your questions. Uh, you can go to Twitter, at Blake KOC Racing, or at Facebook, Blake K Racing. And, of course, you can go to his website for all this stuff, Blake Cook, K-O-C-H, that's BlakeCook.com, and RiseUpAndRegister.com, which he's trying to get people going for. So when we come back, more with Blake Cook. We're going to talk about his love for speaking, his love for children, and his ministry. A lot of other things to talk about with the Nationwide Driver. You hang in there, AFR.net. Sold out sports talk on AFR Talk. 